Hello everyone, my name is Frank and if you're new here, I've just moved from the United States to Australia because I'm starting medical school at the UQ Oshner program. Due to border restrictions though, I had to quarantine for a few days in student accommodations and so for fun, I decided to make a video recording what my quarantine life looked like. It is 7am now and after browsing Instagram reels for a few more minutes than I'd like to admit, I managed to drag myself out of my bed and start my morning routine with a warm shower but not before grabbing my waterproof Kindle so that I can multitask and get some reading done at the same time. Right now I'm reading through Dune, which will probably take me a few more weeks to finish up because it's uh, pretty beefy in size. Coming out of the shower, the first thing I like to do is floss with a water pick, brush my teeth with some Sensodyne toothpaste, use a tongue scraper, and then finally switch around some mouthwash. All of this takes a few minutes. I quickly apply some unscented deodorant, and then it's time for my minimal skincare routine. So first, we have a random moisturizer that I stole from a hotel room and have been using for a bit, followed up by a La Roche mineral sunscreen that I've been testing out with and really enjoying recently. And even though I won't be going out, I'll be spending most of my time in front of a window. And so this is why I'm putting on sunscreen. I just think it's better to be safe than sorry, since the Australian sun really does hit differently. Once that's done with, I can make my bed, put on a sweater and wind up my watch since it actually uses a manual mechanism. And so if I don't wind it, it will stop ticking. Now, for the first thing I've been trying to do on my laptop this year is to journal. This is one of my new year's resolutions and something I think that is very important for my mental health. So I've been making a strong effort to make this step a part of my daily routine where I write out what's been going on, how I'm feeling, and then Finally, things that make me happy every single day. Then after my little bit of journaling, it's time to call my family back home. Because of the time difference, uh, my parents are actually just getting out of work when I wake up, so it actually works out very, very well. During this call, I pull up Uber Eats on my phone and start to quickly order some breakfast. The student accommodations the school put me in actually gives out free meals, but the breakfast is really not that big and it doesn't include coffee, so I decided to pretty much spoil myself every single day I was there with Uber Eats. It is now 8.30 a.m. and once my Uber Eats makes it and the building staff thankfully delivers it to my room since I can't actually leave, it's finally time to relax and pull up Netflix to enjoy a nice episode of Lucifer season six. And I just wanna say that if anyone's ever in Sydney by Darling Harbor, I strongly recommend trying out the Gardens World Square. This was pretty much the same breakfast I ordered every single day just because of how much I liked their spicy chicken sandwich. About halfway done with Lucifer, the coffee started to hit, and with that burst of energy, I decided to instead start looking for flights. Due to regulations at the time of this video, I actually have to stay two weeks in Sydney before heading over to Brisbane, where my school, the University of Queensland, is. And so this is me trying to be proactive and finding a good deal on a flight out of Sydney. Until that is, I get a call from my cousin, and then we spend somewhere around an hour just catching up, talking about books that we've read or are interested in reading, our goals for 2022, and the general strategies to make those goals happen. This all goes on until like 10 at 20 a.m. until we part ways. And at this point, I decide I need some cologne to sort of get myself in the mood to do some work. I might just be very weird, but I find that this really helps me get into a better mindset because I mean, who puts on cologne to do nothing, right? Anyways, it is time to sit down and study up. Right now, I'm trying to read through this little book called How to Take Smart Notes, One Simple Technique to Boost Writing, Learning, and Thinking for Students, Academics, and Nonfiction Book Writers. Since I'm starting medical school, I think it's a great time to read into different study techniques, especially since what I'm trying to do here uh, is come up with a better systemized way to improve understanding of material. Even though I am an Anki flashcard addict, I find that it's very easy for me to slide into this territory of just memorizing random facts versus actually understanding how different concepts can link up to each other without just memorization. And so by using the skills I'm learning from this book, like the Zettelkasten method, hopefully I will improve on that weak spot I have with studying in general. This goes on for around an hour and a half until I come to the conclusion that I desperately need more caffeine, but unfortunately was not willing to spend the money on Uber Eats just for Starbucks. And so I try to hydrate myself a little bit more while taking in the beautiful Sydney views from my room. Thankfully, now it's noon and I just heard a knock at the door for lunch and so I get up to get my food, but not before first putting on a face mask, just in case. For lunch, it looks like we have chicken with rice and vegetables, an apple and a salad that I choose to ignore and leave in the bag. Now it's time to finish up my episode of Lucifer. 
Once I'm done with Netflix and eating, I go to the little boy's room really quick and go back to reading my book on smart notes for about another hour. When it gets to 2 p.m., I've had enough of reading for now, and so I switched to continuing an online course by Natalie Eisen on how to use Rome Research effectively. Rome is the software I've been trying to learn how to use well to take notes in medical school, and this course has been very, very helpful in giving me ideas on how to use it for my particular needs. It really goes hand in hand with the how to take smart notes book, just kind of from a different angle. Around two hours later, it's time to switch things up again, but instead of going back to reading, I take this time to finally set up Anki on my computer, which I've been procrastinating for around a week. Anki is a flashcard program that works by only testing you on cards that you keep getting wrong, and so it's an excellent way to memorize things. It's what I used to study in undergrad and for my MCATs. And for medical school though, there is a pre-made Anki deck called On King that was made by combining a bunch of decks together to pass the USMLE's step one and step two medical board exam. And so this is me kind of trying to figure out how this all works and also tweaking my Anki settings for the optimal learning experience. It did take a little bit longer than I thought, around two hours, which is kind of crazy, but it's not like I have anything better to do with my time, and hopefully this sets me up for success in medical school. It is now 6.30 p.m. and dinner is here, so I'm excited because I was starting to get really hungry. Today's dinner menu seems to be a chocolate muffin, some sort of pasta with mushrooms that I remember being okay, but not great, a plate of fruits, and a salad, which I ignore again and leave in the bag, before I start up another episode of my Lucifer Season 6 binge. The muffin was pretty good, by the way. After eating and finishing my last Netflix episode of the day, I get a notification at 7.30 p.m. on my phone to track my mood. This is another one of my New Year's resolutions because I've never really prioritized mental health in the past, and I want to make an effort to change that, so I've committed to recording how I feel pretty much every single day for a year to get some interesting data from that, and it's been, it's been pretty good so far. I think there's definitely a habit that I'm going to keep up, especially, I mean, it's just logging how you feel and I set up my phone to notify me at a specific time every single day. Speaking of mental health though, almost immediately after this I had a small existential crisis because I felt like I really didn't do that much today and could have done more. Thankfully, after staring out of the window and rehydrating yet again, I consoled myself and decided to end the day by doing a sort of test run of everything I had learned today about using Rome research and note taking. And so I closed the blinds and got to work one last time. So every time that I read a book, I make a mini summary for myself with quotes, reflections, and kind of a general idea of what happened. So I started to make a Rome template for logging book summaries and then using meta tags to interlink information between my book summaries to have everything really linked up. I did get a little carried away with this and so it wasn't up until 10 p.m. that I finally decided to call it a day and start up my nightly routine of using my water pick again, brushing my teeth, etc. Except the one difference here is that this time I used a cleanser on my face, in this case from La Roche, to wash away pretty much all the sunscreen that I put on, all the gunky residue off of my face before heading to bed, where I settle down with my Kindle to read a few more pages of Dune until I feel pretty tired enough to pass out and say goodnight. 